Alright guys, Ian Anderson, Seppo Pai, Central Coast Disco. We are back for more 2019 Daniel Bell Memorial. We got round two league card part two. That is your league card. That's Seppo Paiu. That's myself. There's that crow hop you got going, man. Yeah. Is that your secret weapon? <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we shouldn't talk about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> there is Steve Rico. And I can't wait to watch that shot. Yeah. And with his uh, teammate, Eli. Yep. Really fun to watch him. He's He's been making some appearances on the Central Coast. Yeah, and he has left uh, or the sidearm and backhand shot, and he's a good, good, good putter also. Yeah. Speaking of good putters. Max the Machine. <laughs> I've been watching this guy. <laughs> uh, we got Max Macbeth over here. <laughs> uh, after nine, you just have a one-stroke lead. It's been a back-and-forth battle here. Yeah, it's, it's where we started from. I was leading Steve by one. Oh, that's right, huh? Uh, Max with a good round, uh, five down, hot round on the card so far, making that jumper work, and we got our double mano on hole ten. Yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite holes. You can, you know, play for the eagle, or you can just get through the mando and, you know, take your birdie. Uh, the danger is left side, which is the creek, and it's OB. That's where you see a lot of discs go, and especially for the amateur players. So the pro players really just want to get through the mando and turn something over or for Max just, you know, hyzering it out. Exactly. Uh, he's reaching for his nuke again. Oh, that was close. Yeah, you just got to miss that tree and then you're good. And yeah, that's a great drive. That's all he's looking for, I believe. Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do, right? Yeah. What do you got in the hand here, Seppo? I'm going with the KJ, Kevin Jones, H2V2. Um, I'm just trying to, you know... I'm going for the basket, but I'm going with that disc because it doesn't have as much fade as my D1. Okay. And that was going to be perfect. 100% parked, That man. was going to be parked. <laughs> it totally was. I want to see my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it felt. Yep. Because that was going to be so good, and it, but it was a little high. I saw that it could definitely hit that branch, and, and it did. And it was it just, just died. that one little yeah. branch is hanging out there, man. Oh, that was tough to watch. Uh, we've got a pinnacle rival from Steve. Just gets through the mando and turns it over. and It's better to turn it over too much than not enough because uh, the wind can, you know, pick up your disc and make it go left. It'll be... Got a cannon rip from Eli, ripping out 62 miles an hour. That is heated for a forehand. <laughs> yes, it is. And that is way down there, 370 almost. Or Peter Heiser, that's a, that's a yeah, great crash. He, I think he was just throwing a placement it, shot. It was, right? Yeah. So here I'm actually really wanting the base. This shot put it right under the basket because I know that people always leave this shot too wide to the right because of the OB. Mm -hmm. And I did it, you know, I was, oh. I wanted to be too close. Yep. But I also knew that if I do that, I'm just going to be tapping in for par. So it's not, you know, that bad. Yeah, exactly. Rico, so oh, that was a good checkup. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I knew it would do that actually because he threw a potter and it was flat enough that it wasn't going to take a big skip, especially on the slow cal grass right now. It's so thick. Yeah. And we got a zone up shot from Max. Corrects from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He made sure he didn't go too much left because it's not really worth going, you know, that close. I shouldn't have gone as close as I was trying to. Eli leaves a little bit long, but still, that's that's pretty solid. Uh, Steve with a putt for the bird here. 30-something. Cash money. 47. 47, Dang. wow. Dang. Steve's got some, some solid putty on this yeah. card right now. And if you miss that putt, it could easily roll out of bounds. Oh, for sure. Uh, there you are cleaning up, what would it be, a four? And Eli for the three. Nice. Max, also looking for a birdie here. And here you can see that Max, you know, takes his time, makes sure, even though he's like 10 feet away, he uh -huh. checks the wind, takes his time. I mean, I, I pitch in softball, and I always, like, every pitch I have, like, a routine I go Absolutely. through. Absolutely. It's so important. It gets you into the zone. Uh-huh, it really does. You gotta play these mental tricks on yourself to make it work. And Steve. Perfect. God. I feel like his putt was off a little bit last year, but I think he's playing more this year. It is. Yeah. It's looking good. 
Um, there are three birdies making this a really tight race. We got two 16s, two 14s. What a battle. <laughs> it is. Sign me up. Uh, hole 11, which you absolutely parked yesterday. You going for yeah. the same same shot? Yeah, I'm going for the Anheuser. I like it for myself. I could throw a sidearm as well, but I'm just more confident with the putter sure. turnover. But yeah, that's absolutely the sidearm is the play if, you, if you're confident with that. Um, there's nothing, no danger except actually in the fence there is that gap, so he can skip OB. Yep. And I've done it myself. Oh, I've seen it happen. It's a pretty big gap, and it's kind of right where you would exactly. skip if you miss right. Exactly. Uh, let's see what Max has here. He's going Vulture. Perfect hole for Max. Isn't it? Yeah, there's no better hole. And you see, he was pretty yeah, close to that. Yeah, if, he, if he didn't hit the grass and he hit the... The hard pan yeah, there? The, yeah, he could have skipped OB. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Rico leech for, reaching for an Icon Outlaw. Steve has a pretty good flake, actually. He does. He's been throwing it more and more over the yeah. years. Adapting his game. As he need to do to keep, keep pace with you guys. Eli? It's going to be an enemy. Again, Legacies type Firebird type deal. What would you call it for Prodigy? Um, that would probably be H1, yeah, yeah original yeah. or the V2. I don't really know exactly how the how that one flies. Yeah, yeah. Is your PA one again? Yeah, this is also the again the kind of little bit overstable. It's not very overstable. It's beat up, but it's uh, yeah. The wind was even stronger today from right to left, so that shot was actually pretty difficult this round. Steve coming back for the two. He's, yeah. he's making them. Yes. We're we're all putting pretty good. Yeah, you really are. Rico and Max making some long ones. Eli also coming back for a birdie. Dead center. Could be looking at a star frame here. Yeah. Max makes this one. No doubter. And you also have a look. Yeah, I'm actually, I was going to spin putt it. Were you? I was, because uh, the wind was pretty strong for a second, but then it calmed down, and I was like, just put it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have both options, yeah, though. Yeah, I, I still, if it's, like, pretty windy, I like to go for the spin putt sometimes. I mean, it definitely helps. Pit putting the wind is, is no fun. Yeah, and, and especially when I'm that close, I know I'm going to make it either way. Yeah, sure. Back to the action again. Huge, huge thanks to MVP. We are looking at star frame on a hole 11. So we remain tied for first, tied for third. <laughs> That's how it works. We're into the Orange Grove hole of one of the muskets out here. Somehow. Yeah, and when you get to this hole, you're just you're just enjoying yourself yeah. because <laughs> the smell is so good, all the oranges, and you can grab a snack. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much a must get. I mean, I never really like to think of any hole like a must get because it's just. Pressure, pressure because there isn't really a must get but this is one of the easier ones just like the previous hole but um when it's windy like it is today it's not as easy as it could be difficult for max actually yeah it is he's throwing his buzz ss here on a beautiful line that's such a nice shot super touchy but he yeah work. yeah it's not really long if you're right you're usually trying to throw something pretty straight out the tunnel and let it fade right after that and that's those kind of shape your shot, you know, really well towards the basket. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a pursuit from Steve. Goes a little bit long. And looks like Eli also reaching for a pursuit. Yeah, I think he's going for the wide route that AB was going for round one. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Not quite as high as AB, yeah. but it's up there. Oh. Hanging out with Steve over there. Yep. Going A2 again? Yeah, I'm going A2. I'm going for the low shot. I just like it myself, you know, trying to get out the tunnel and 
naturally let the speed kind of make the A2 fade yeah. to the left. I like that play for this hole as well. And then it just dumps. Get over there. Nice shot, Seppo. Kind of, I'm glad I had a tailwind putt there. I actually left my disc to the right side of the basket because I wanted to have a tailwind oh, putt. No yeah, I didn't want to go here because I'm not that confident in headwind. I'm not like Steve <laughs> who <laughs> makes it in any, from anywhere. I, what the heck, Steve? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another perfect putt. He, he's almost looked relieved, right? Not even happy. Yeah. Just relieved that one in. Uh, Eli from a little bit closer, but not much. Not much. Right uh, side. The boss just big putted him. Yeah. <laughs> he has the experience. That he does. Max. Yep. That's what Max does. Making putts. And you're close, but not gimme. Gimme yeah. range. There you go. Nice bird. Thank you. Yeah, I, in the first tournament of the year, Las Vegas, I missed some of those, so I'm trying to really focus on those. Yeah, as long as you, you learn your lesson, right? Yeah, you know? yep. exactly. Take something from it. That wasn't a lost cause. There's Max dead center as usual. There's our, our speed gun and distance crew over there, and Zach and Darren. Nice. Huge thanks to those guys. Doing, they're hustling out there, getting all those, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, there are your three birdies. Eli with the lone par. Uh, we're again tied at the top with 18 down. Uh, Max taking sole possession of third, and we're on to uh, course hole 17 or hole 13. Yeah, this is uh, one of the most wooded holes in San Diego. Really tricky hole, actually, especially with this uh, tree here kind of falling over the fairway, and you're wanting to get on the platform there. Yeah. But the play now really is just to you know hit the wall. Yeah. That's almost as good as you can do. Yeah, you give yourself a putt. Uh, Max... He is a Challenger OS. Pretty good lefty hole, actually. Yeah, we saw, we saw yeah, yesterday. Yeah, You kind of get that late fade, which gives yeah. you that lift to get up yep. on the platform. That punched through nicely, yeah, at least. Yeah, that's <laughs> his, in, like, inside the circle putting. Yeah, yeah there he is right there. That should have worked. And here... I honestly thought about doing this shot. Did you? Yeah, but I was really stoked, and he did it perfect. Exactly how I would have done it myself. And there's... <laughs> oh, my God. That's my favorite thing all day, man. Yeah, that was insane. There was, the like, a little log that people walk over from. Yeah. <laughs> and it skipped from that. Oh, man. Why couldn't that have gone in, though? How fun would that would have been? been sick. That would have been amazing. You going A2 or putter? This is a PA1, really P beat up one. Um, just wanted to hit the wall this time. Uh, yesterday I was going for the platform or the level there where uh -huh. the basket's on. And uh, it's just not worth it. I just tried to go lower and have myself a putt. Yeah. And this is a pursuit from Eli. And that, that was a Firebird roller from Steve, funny enough. Yeah. 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 yeah Max and Steve <laughs> talking about what he hit up here. Man, what a shot. So, Eli, this is like... Kind of a terrible spot to be, almost. It is, yeah. I've I've been in this kind of spots on this hole, and they are not. I mean, they're not that difficult, but they could be a lot easier. Yeah, there's definitely easier upshots out there. Uh, Eli did that very well. Uh, Max has a look for two. Oh, buddy. Just right side. Yep. Hoping for some better results for yourself. Nicely done, man. There it is. Yeah. That wasn't close either. A little 35-footer no, there. Yeah. No gimme. Definitely happy with it. Yeah. Stroke is feeling pretty good at the moment. Yeah, nice. Rico with the birdie capitalizing on the, the roller jump. So fun. There yeah. has been a few roller aces in, in history. Yeah. Barsby has one. And Do you know of any other ones? Yala Stewart. Really? Yeah, he has one. My buddy Angel has one out. He got one out at Morley. Wow. Hole seven. Morley. I can I can see that at Morley. <laughs> it was in the 400 footer, though. Really? Yeah. On hole, hole seven gets real long. Wow. Down by eight, Steve had. And Steve, so crafty. I, I love watching him play. 
And uh, we remain tied at the top, 219s. Uh, Max keeps his one stroke over Eli. And now uh, we're going to be looking at hole 14. Yeah, the casebo hole uh, basket is not normally there, but they moved it for the tournament. And pretty open hole uh, on the right side before the basket. There's that little hill and a tree on top of it. And that's the most difficult part about this hole, really. You just want to get over that hill if you're throwing a hyzer because your hyzer is going to stop there if you hit it. And also the tree is perfect on the hyzer route. Oh, we have an Icon Outlaw from Steve. So he hits the top of the hill there yep. and it doesn't skip. But if you get just barely over it, you're going to be parked. Yeah, he needed like two feet left yeah. and he's parked. I'm going for really high because I'm just trying to get around the tree and just spike it there. But I released it a little early, but I'm I'm happy with it. 400 feet on a towering hyzer, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is incredible how far you throw. Blows my mind. Uh, Max, he's got a nuke. And he gets that perfect line. Really good angle, too, and that's just Gosh, money. So yeah. pretty. I played several practice rounds with him, as I've said, and uh, on this hole, I saw him probably throw 30 drives, uh -huh. and he was just trying to find a, the perfect line and height and disc for this hole, and Who? it's nice to see that he got it. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's a flick. A cannon, man. <laughs> it was a cannon of a cannon. And Rico, he's got a look here. Yeah, that's a. It's nice when you're not behind one of the pillars. pillars. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. So close. Yeah. I had right to left wind here, which is probably my least favorite. Yeah. Yeah, you put with a little bit of hyzer, I guess. Yeah. So that is not friendly, but that putt was friendly. Yeah, that, I was really happy with that putt. Yeah. Really nice. Steve, let's see if he can salvage par. Yep. Nicely done. And Eli and Max almost guaranteed birdies yeah. here. Yeah. 15 footers. That's almost where you need to put yourself, though, on this, this yeah, hole with all. Yeah. This is, uh, it's, I mean, it's pretty long. I, I, it could be even longer than 390. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's it's not an easy hole. It's one of the more difficult ones. Yeah. Boom. I was always curious if you were like just like spinning it and throwing it really far, but you just throw really fast too. Yeah, I, I guess I do. People always ask if I, you know, curl my wrist on purpose yeah. to get spin, but for me it's just the natural way to hold it. Yeah? I'm not well, like not I'm forcing it? No, uh, not at all. It's just naturally like huh. that. Yeah, that was fun. We finally got the radar gun on you. I was like super curious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Of course, hole one, hole 15, par four. So, so difficult, Seppo. Yeah, this is a really cool hole, like a le really legit par four, uh, where you want to, you know, get your drive as far around the corner as possible, and then try to get around the mando towards the basket, but it will be right behind the basket, and really a, a dangerous hole. Yeah, you can so a different disc today, I noticed. Yeah, I'm going for F5 this round. I just wanted to make sure that it holds all the way, and actually, when I threw it, I thought it wouldn't, but it was just perfect smashed man like you're around the corner and it almost gives you a better angle to the basket yeah how give, far out yeah, you are no that was really good especially in that wind yeah you can <laughs> see my reaction i <laughs> wasn't happy with it and then i was like actually it's working oh, out <laughs> that, your frown turned yeah. upside down buddy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great i like that one a lot eli is like you didn't like it off the off the tee yeah Max Nichols up next. Cranking it. He called it. And I think that's kind of where he wants to be. Yeah, that's eh, that's almost. a little short. Yeah, yeah, that's like 30 feet short. He wants to be by the tee pad. Yeah, you're right. Eli, he's got a cannon. It's a little wide. Yeah, a little too wide because that's going to you know, leave yourself a really long second shot. And yeah. right out of his hand, he knew it was too wide and not happy with it. Yeah, kind of where you were yesterday a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's not a good place <laughs> because of the Mando and you're just 
playing for four almost. Yeah, Steve with a legend outlaw. And the outlaw showing its stability here, fading when he didn't really want it to. Yeah, and he almost <laughs> makes makes it to the regular hole <laughs> once real basket. Hole. And that happened. That happened. Yeah. Rico, second shot. Wow. So close to the basket yeah, here. And what an amazing shot. Wasn't it a beaut? That was as good as he could have done from I, there, unless if he went with the roller. I was like wondering if he was just going to lay up short of the mando yeah. and not even test it. But he went for it, and he threw a great shot. Now, this is a cannon again from Eli, trying to get all the way to the basket. Just barely threw it. Like, a, Doesn't he? Not even a run-up, like yeah. one step. Look at this. That's that's insane. It's so good. That's like 400 feet. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's got a 400-foot-plus forehand. And like you said, he didn't even run up on that one. Yeah. So Max had to get tricky here. Yeah, he's going with the new OS, trying to really flex it, and just wants to fade out. But a uh, little bit too much to the left and OB. Yeah, he two meters. stayed up there, unfortunately. Tough break. Max, also not a fan of the two-meter roller right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was heated, understandably so. Uh, what do you got in the hand here, Seppo? Uh, my beat-up PA1. I practiced this shot, actually, yeah? a few times, and I, w I knew I was going to throw a good one. Get out of here with that, Seppo. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, that so was a, good, dude. That was a nice shot. I like that spot, and that's once again one of my favorite shots. So yeah, I was gonna enjoy it. Yesterday we talked about this being a two great shot hole, and you you threw two great shots right yeah, there. Yeah, I don't think I have birdied this hole before. No, no, yeah. in a tournament. Mm -hmm. That's a, an incredibly tough get. It is. You're probably getting a stroke in the field if you can do it. I guess Eli has a look at it. Eli has a look at it yeah. after that drive. That's really impressive yeah, that he even has a look sure is and here it is OB behind a little bit of a scary look here extremely scary oh left side he committed to it though and a drop in birdie man yeah, that's nice and putter for the second shot I just had a really good drive yeah you put it right where you needed to yeah so it made it a lot easier uh, Max with the five there, unfortunately. And Eli and Steve will be dropping in some fours. Good four from Steve, too, even after that drive. Yeah, absolutely. Second the shot. four is not bad on this hole. You're you're smiling yep. when you get a four. Uh huh. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, you because I have that when I'm going for a big turnover. Uh -huh. I have that kind of weird footwork after I've thrown it. Interesting. Like I do a certain thing. It kind of helps me to get the angle. I would have to look into it, actually. Huh, Somebody it. can do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was your birdie there. Open up a little two-stroke lead over Steve yeah. after a real tight race so far. Uh, hole 16, it's a Seppo hole. Yeah, I like this hole. It's just the... Well, I can bomb it pretty hard. Not 100%, but I can give it a pretty good rip. And uh, today I'm deciding to go for a little hyzer, actually. Oh, yeah. And that shot, honestly, was one of my best feeling drives ever. That just left out of my hand so good. Rocket. Oh, what did I hit there? The log? I don't know. I think it just skipped on the, on the hard okay. pan there. Yeah. But I think it never even got flat, man. No. And it still went 500. And Eli crushing this that cannon. That was impressive. And that's a new sidearm record here for Such Coast. <laughs> 67 miles an hour. I could not believe it. He throws farther with his sidearm, obviously. than 437. His Wow. Yeah, when he's reaching for the sidearm on yeah. the wide open hole, you know that's his preferred. Rico. He's got a cannon as well. Just didn't get the turn on it. He could have gotten probably like another 50 feet at least if he got a good angle on it. Yeah. Putting it out 380. And Max, he's going to 360 for us again. Yeah. He's got that nuke. Better than yesterday. Better than yesterday, but still not a good angle. No. Oh! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Funny kick off the stump there. Putting out about eh, about the same distance as yesterday, turns out. Uh, he's got a zone for a tricky upshot here. Yeah, it's really fast green, so he's trying to kind of like nose up, slow it down, and just land it soft and did it perfect. That works when you hit the pin. Rico again, not an easy look. He's a vet. And that'll work. Eli, he, 
looking at this one, I'm laying this one up. Yeah. He, I will. Yeah. The, that's really close to OB, actually. Yeah, it is. The OB is not far. Yeah, he's about a foot from it, if that. And you've got to look for a two again. Come on, man. <laughs> the, the, the separators, these last two holes, man. Like, yeah, yeah they are. Two strokes on the field, probably, I bet you. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. That was a great putt as well. Uh, Eli coming back for the par. And that is oh. an unfortunate bird doggy. And he was in that awkward distance where it's like you'd almost rather be closer or farther back. <laughs> so you're not forced yeah. to, ru to run that one. Yeah. He, that's definitely, I mean, at least for me, that's a lay up from, from that distance. Yeah. Because if you miss it and you give it a good run, uh, then it, you're OB. Yeah. All right, checking out our scores after here. Separator right there with the, the birdie, Seppo. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, with my big arm, I can. that's a birdie hole for me. Yep, taking advantage of it. Uh, Eli with the unfortunate bug, and we're looking at uh, hole 17. Yeah, so hole 17, uh, really difficult to get. Um, probably even more difficult than the previous hole. And uh, a lot of players are just going to, you know, trying to get on the fairway and take their three. Yeah, it's a good play. Let's see what they got. Hole 17. Seppo, you're ripping out a... I'm throwing a D1. Uh, I'm just playing for a safe three. Uh, trying to put myself in a good position where I can jump put it to the basket. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get far at all. That'll work. I mean, it should be pretty easy up and down. Yeah. Rico? That's a perfect shot. He's throwing his rival. I think he's just also playing for a safe shot because he's not throwing a distance driver. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the place to be. And super difficult hold the birdie. Uh, Max, probably a nuke. Yep, it is. Yep. And he's going to be right where we're at. Yeah. Again, easy up and down. Uh, this is a cannon for Eli. I think he's going for it. Yeah? Yeah, I think so because... Uh, just the way that he throws it. He even had like a little jump at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, kind of like the same shot I had round one, but just farther. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And unfortunately, it does go OB right there. He'll be throwing three from over there. Now we're looking at Max's second. Looks like a zone. Still got a little bit of work left here. Yeah, with the with the rocks placed in, a, in difficult spots and the green being really fast and OB behind, it's not that easy. Nope. Like the boost comes in play. Eli throwing three. Uh, basket's just behind that rock in the middle of your screen. Really good shot. Yeah. That should work for a four. Yeah. Just putt range almost. Yeah, I'm trying nothing but put it under the basket. Yeah, take your three and move on. Rico, 115 to the pin. Lays it in nicely. And Eli, going to try and save Bogue here. Good putt. Yeah, that's a good putt. Even though it's for Bogey, but Bogey on this hole isn't that rare. Nah. So. This is probably the toughest three. Mu or it's the toughest two, sorry. Must be. Yeah. yeah. Max with another good putt. And you and Steve just dropping in some, uh, some casual threes. Now let's check out our score, see where we ended up after we see Max's nuke rip. Max has a good technique. He does. He's been working on it. Yeah.
we're back to the action there. Uh, unfortunate boogie from Eli slipping back a little bit. Uh, you suddenly have a three-stroke lead over Steve. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited, or I'm not really thinking about it actually at the moment, but yeah. I'm pretty happy with my round so far. Yeah, been doing some great shots, and hopefully you got one more in the bag step on hole 18. Yeah, yeah hole 18 is, uh, you know, it can be pretty, you can be pretty nervous getting to this hole. It's an island hole. You can play a safe shot on the grass here in the front, but uh, you don't really see people doing that at all, so you yeah. pretty much have to go for it. Island is not small, so it it's not that bad, but I just throw unbelievably bad shot. <laughs> I yanked that disc so bad, I knew immediately out of my hand that it was going OB. Yeah. Unfortunately, it, does cro it did cross over the corner, so you, yeah. you get to take it from the drop zone yeah. instead of from this side. Steve, he's throwing his pursuit, and that was pretty good. Yeah, that's a good shot. Huh. If you're in the island, you're putting, and, yeah. and you're pretty happy. Uh, Max has an undertaker. Yeah, he switched from uh, Vulture because he threw the Vulture OB the first round. Oh, uh, okay. So he's going with something straighter. Which works. <laughs> Smart play. <laughs> Very good. Nice adjustment, right? That's what I like about when we play the same course over yeah. and over in tournament. You get to see like how players adjust the holes yeah. and situations. And it's amazing how, like, <sighs> that dropped almost in the middle, but, like, the lefties and sidearms just skip a lot yeah. on this one. That disc had no chill. All right, here you are from the drop zone. Try and save par. It really tried to give it a good run, but even too too hard. Good yeah. line, but I just didn't want to be short on it because I'm usually short on my long ones. Yeah, yeah good want on it, right? You got to want it. You That's do. <laughs> Eli, come, he had some want on it too there. Left it a little bit right. Steve for a, a birdie finish. That's what you would get two strokes on you on the last hole here too. That is, that's, uh, yeah. I I was so bummed that I made that mistake off the tee. I bet, man. I hope we can at least save a bogey here. Yeah, this was still not a gimme. It was like 22 feet. And it was a little windy to end the it day. It was. Good putt. Yeah, not... I'm I'm happy with you know putting that in you know just taking a bogey. Mm -hmm. Eli also going to save a bogey. Well done. Finishing bogey bogey a little bit tough there though. He had a good round cooking. Uh, Max dropping birdie to finish his round. You know he's happy about that. Yeah. Steve with a good hug face. <laughs> uh, there is no pars on the last hole. So that's no kind of how feast or famine on that last one. Yeah, if you is, make the islander, you don't. <laughs> it's true. Uh, let's check out our top ten and see our lead card for round three. We got yourself in the lead by one over Steve. Every bow shot nine down. And Clint Calvin, the local. Yeah. Your U.S. amateur champion right now with the eleven down, getting yeah, on the lead the card. Round. Yeah, that was good. And uh, Max, kicking it in fourth. Should be a good battle today. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Stoked to watch it. I hope you guys enjoyed round two. We'll catch you in round three.